Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Hansley Jones. Welcome to h Nate Success Academy for business tips, inspiration and to be a better you. This episode we'll be speaking about... Externally. You know, for me, obviously externally is your health, is your wellness. You know, what you look like. Are you happy how you look? Do you need to go to the gym? Are you happy how you feel in your clothes? Are you happy with the, your fashion? You know, are you happy what people see? You know, that's like, that's like the external when it comes to, you know, the x-ray. But I want to focus more on the internal, you know, your your happiness, your fulfillment in life, your contentment. Are you living your best life? And, you know, the best way to do that is to ask yourself these questions. Am I happy with, with, with my income I'm making? You know, am I happy with my environment I'm in? Am, am I happy with my relationship, you know, with, with, my, with my partner? You know, um, am I happy within myself, within my body? Am I, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm going to be real deep and get real honest. Am I, am I even heterosexual? Am I, you know, do I, I find the traps if the other sex? Whatever you do when it comes to evaluating yourself, I would always recommend taking some time out and just write your thoughts down on paper or even do a video to yourself or even do a, a voice recording of yourself to get your thoughts down into the universe because what you say into the universe it will come back and i truly believe that but at the same time you have to know what you want and you need to have a way and have a plan to get it and sometimes you might not even have that plan and that's why when it comes down to x-ray you have to really think you know am, am i happy C- can i do better for myself can i am i happy with my environment can i help others what is my purpose in life you know, am I am I doing the best I can to fulfill my satisfaction? What can I do? You know, asking yourself these questions and sometimes it's very deep. And not many people think about this. And this is why sometimes um it's it's not nice to say, but sometimes this is why some people have kind of have mental illness. It's because, you know, they, they go through things but they don't really know how to internalize it and because they don't know how to do it, they don't seek the help that they need to get. And that's the whole point of self evaluating yourself. And if you do need or do feel you need professional help from looking down within, just get the help. And sometimes you can't even go to your friends and family. Sometimes you have to go to the GP or go to a walk-in nurse to, in order for them, you know, to put you on the right path. And I completely understand because sometimes your friends and family might not understand what you're going through. And that's okay. Because, you know, we are, we are complex beings. Because we are human beings. Being is the most important. We are, com- we are very, very complex. And I understand. But on that note, you know, if you always put yourself in a great environment where you have a great support system around you, and this is what it comes down to your circle of friends. You know, because you, that, that's the saying goes, you are what you eat. You know, you are... You are you are you are the replication of the five closest people to you. you now, if you hang around with five rich people, and you're not as wealth wealthy or as rich as them, you will eventually be the sixth one within that circle. Or if you hang around six broke people or five broke people, sorry, and you're the sixth one, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be that sixth broke because you're going to install that same mentality that they have. You know, you know, poor. Passing over opportunities repeatedly. Rich. You know, reading intentionally you creates happiness. All we want in life is just to be happy, be content and have and have live our best life. And the only way to live our best life is know what we really want and what makes us happy. Because don't get me wrong, it's great to go clubbing every night. But go clubbing 10 days, 10 nights. You're surely going to get bored of going out every night, drinking, clubbing. Listen to the same music over and over and over again. Don't get me wrong, there's different genres of music. Okay, I get it. But not many people can actually stand different genres of music. Right? Or being around the same people that's always drinking and smoking and so on and so forth. That gets tiring. Right? Or even being around business people that that talk about making money, talk about making wealth, talk about making Lamborghinis, Ferraris, so on and so forth. That can get boring as well. You know, so it's all about having a balance. And I and I get it, you know, it's it's very challenging to have a balance within within our economic, you know, 
realm or society that we live in, whether you're in the UK, USA, Africa, China, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you know, everyone has the same situations. You know, this is why, you know, 90% of people work for the 10% because the 10% done something different from the 90%. And all I'm saying is, you can, if you want to be part of the 90%, that's okay. But to be part of the 10%, you have to make some extremely sacrifices. And everybody not wanting to be part of the 10%, okay, I get it. But if you're going to be in the 90%, just be happy. Because there are many people that have fulfilling jobs. And don't get me wrong, we are very blessed to have those people. You know, such as nurses, doctors. Even something simple as, you know, dinner ladies at schools. You know, without the dinner ladies at schools, these students, when it be having food, or having the nutrition they need due to circumstances at home. So, you know, we have to be thankful for the roads people that keep our roads clean. You know, no matter how big or small the job is, people get real fulfillment from those and especially those people you know who have learned difficulties or who are slightly disabled and they are working doing a bit for society sometimes they're the most happiest people and i watch these programs you know you know rich house poor house where they actually swap on their lives and they actually realize that they're not they're they're just the same you know one person works too much you know they, they have good jobs but they spend less time with their families but you know they have, you know, they have minimal money, but they spend so much time with their families. It's also about having a balance. And even with Mercer, sometimes, sometimes it's challenging to get that balance between seeing, you know, seeing my young, my, my family, younger siblings, and spend time with the missus. And this is something I'm, consist I'm consistently working on as well. Even me, but I understand, but because I do, you know, regular self-evaluations of entry, so and so, I understand that, you know, something has to change. You know, for things to change, you have to change. And doing the same thing over and over again is called insanity. So what we need to do is, every now and then, just have an x-ray. You know, I'm not saying have a deep x-ray. Or even the best thing I can do, if I'm 100% honest, travel by yourself. Whether it's going to another country, whether it's going to another city, another town, for a weekend or a couple of days. You know, just find yourself and be comfortable within your skin for you to self-evaluate. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to listen to this HNA Success Academy podcast. For more information, please go to www.hnhtravel2success.com for more information and everything I've spoken about. And just to connect with me, and my Facebook is Hunter Jones. I look forward to speaking with you. Have a great day on purpose. Take care.